Hi, welcome to this 3 ds Max tutorial. We're going to be learning how to run a rain simulation on Typhlop. First, we'll need to draw a plane. So let's go to the creation panel and draw a plane. I'm going to add some standard measures for this to be easy to operate. I'm going to change the color as well. Let's put some blue. That's great. And now let's bring Typhlop to the action. So let's do the same creation panel, click Typhlo, bring Typhlo to the action, and now go to modify, open the Typhlo editor. Okay. Now let's bring a birth event. So we're going to tell a Typhlo that within the zero and 200 frames, we'll have for start a thousand particles running for this experiment and um, next thing we're going to create a position icon so we're telling Typhlo that this is the place that all the particles are going to be coming from so we can create a new one here and we can adjust the parameters we can pick these two and align them to the center of the workspace okay yeah that's much better we can move this up too. So, sorry. We can move the type icon up. Okay. So now all the particles are being created within the the type icon. Next, we want to create uh, something to add uh, speed to the particle. So let's add a speed event speed event and put this behind position icon it is important to set the direction of the speed along the icon arrow so that we can simulate afterwards um, the rain and the another another important thing is to pick this icon we're going to pick type flow so that the edits that we did in the direction will affect the type of icon, okay? So if it is a slow, perhaps you can edit the magnitude of the speed and it will rain much faster. So this is like a typical Melbourne rain. <laughs> perhaps we can put some middle term. You can play with this tell you find what's best for you. Uh, next, we're going to add a collision event. With this, we'll be telling Typhlo that all the particles are actually going to collide with something. In this case, it's going to be our terrain. So by clicking collision, picking that, you see that they're interacting. Although, now you see that every time that the particles hit the ground, they're they're bouncing back with so much force. So one way to solve that is go into the collision uh, editor and we're going to set the bounce at a lower rate. So let's say 10. We can see now that they're, they're not bouncing back as hard as before, but they're still going up. So to fix that also, we need to add a new event called force, and this will work as gravity. So we're going to tell type flow that all the particles that are bouncing should be bouncing back down again. Um, and we have to set this to a negative factor, otherwise the particles will keep bouncing up So if it's that not, if that is not the best result, perhaps you can edit this at, at more strength, or perhaps it is less strength that you need. That is starting to look a bit better. If you go back to collision, you can you can edit the radius of the collision. So if you see now there are kind of tiles bouncing up and down in the in the ground. So if you set this to a 0 
they will be looking much more like rain. Okay, next thing, next thing we're going to do is to get rid of the excess of particles that are, are going up from the plane. So, first of all, we're going to add a time tester. With this edit, we are telling TIEFLOW that all the particles will have like a repetition. A repetition, I said. So, we can set that with this value here. Uh, it comes by a default of 10, but you can set let's say three so every time that particles are gonna be bouncing back they will have like a set of repetitions and if there are still some particles remaining you can add a delete event and link it to the time operator so there you will be erasing the excess of particles we, we can go back to the birth event and add more particles so that we can have a better rain effect. Let's say with 3000, it's starting to look much better. And last thing we're going to do is to add a array modifier. And this will act as a, will try to emulate what happens when the, the drops of water hit the ground and then go back, go up again, and then it split and go down again. So with the array, we're going to be telling Tyflow that every time particles hit the ground, they're going to be repeating um, each other, so multiplying. Um, and right, right now, there's many particles created so to solve that we can go into the offset which means like the distance from the new particles to be separated from the original one and we can set this to a lower number let's say two so there you go and you can play with this number so that you can have like a better rain effect And that would be a rain simulation. Thank you for watching.